So one of my viewers left a comment on one of the Whitestone Dome liquid adhesive screen protector reviews that I did asking why are we still using liquid adhesive in 2023 on flat screen phones? That's an excellent question and we're gonna answer that today. So here I have my brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max and I don't know how, but a day after I got the phone, I didn't put a screen protector on right away and I got this scratch right on my screen. Hey guys, it upsets me every time I look at that. It just, I baby my phone so much and I have absolutely no idea how that scratch got there. So in this video, we're gonna find out if regular tempered glass screen protectors or even liquid adhesive screen protectors will fill in that scratch or even make them less noticeable. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out if either one of them worked at all. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. So the first thing we're gonna do is to install a regular tempered glass screen protector and see what that does for the scratch. So I installed a regular tempered glass screen protector over my phone and the question is now, did the tempered glass screen protector fill in or mask the scratch on the screen at all? Let's find out. And if we look a little closer, you can see that scratch right there and it looks just as visible as if the screen protector was never installed. So regular tempered glass screen protectors do not mask or fill in scratches on the actual phone screen. So now that we know that regular tempered glass does not do anything for scratches that are on the phone screen, I'm gonna take the screen protector off and I'm going to install a screen protector that uses liquid adhesive. I wanna see if it fills in the scratch or even masks it just a little bit so you don't notice it as much. So for this test, we're gonna be using one of my most favorite screen protectors, the Whitestone Dome Dome Glass. This screen protector does use liquid adhesive and it's one of the best I've ever used. Typically, I use screen protectors that use liquid adhesive for screens that are curved because it's really hard to find a regular tempered glass screen protector that doesn't use liquid adhesive that works really well with the in-display fingerprint sensor. Obviously, I'm not talking about iPhones, more on the Galaxy devices. So there are quite a few different screen protectors out there that do use liquid adhesive, but I've always had a really good experience using Whitestone Dome. The installation might look intimidating at first, but they pretty much lay out everything you need to do in their little installation guide, and it really doesn't take that much time. If I can do it, I know you can do it, and if you watch my installation video, you can visually see step-by-step step everything you need to do. And then once the installation's done, the screen protector comes out looking great. So here's the moment of truth. I just got done installing the liquid adhesive screen protector on my brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max that did have that scratch on the screen. Let's see if the liquid adhesive did its job. No! <laughs> that is awesome. I can't see that scratch on the screen at all. So consider this question answered. If you happen to have a scratch on your screen, you can totally fill it in with a liquid adhesive tempered glass screen protector. Guys, I can't tell you how sick I was after I saw that scratch on my screen. I just, I couldn't understand how it happened and seeing it day after day just made me even more mad. So now you don't have to worry about that ever again. Look at that, no matter where you look, you cannot see that scratch anymore. That is so awesome. So if you've got scratches on your brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max like I do and you're sick of seeing it day after day, you can use a liquid adhesive to totally fill it in so you don't have to see it. Your phone looks perfect again. <laughs> I can't believe it. That is awesome. So. So if you guys want to pick up this exact screen protector, I will be leaving links in the video description. And if you enjoyed the video, it would really help out my channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. So let me know what your experience is. Do you guys have a scratch on your brand new phone? And are you planning on getting the screen protector to get rid of it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more tempered glass screen protector installations, I would definitely recommend checking my best and worst screen protector video for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And you can check that out by clicking on the video you see on your screen right now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.